Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Akash and I welcome you to this new video on the channel and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create this uh, UI. So this is UI that I've created with HTML and CSS. That's it. I've just used HTML and CSS. So here it is a bit of looks like it is floating. So uh, that's why I've given it this name and if I move my cursor over here then you can see that the border uh, the background of the border gets a little darker and same happens on the footer so if you can see that and then here I have these two buttons for login and sign up they don't work because I haven't created any other page this is just the one page you can create other pages and add to this uh, UI and then I have uh, these uh, heading and paragraph and one uh, anchor link in the middle and then after here in the bottom I have these three flipping cards so if you don't know how to create these kind of flipping cards then I have a detailed video on creating these flipping cards uh, on this channel then uh, you can see that video as well and it is 2020 guys so the UI should be responsive so this UI is responsive so if I get this window down then as you can see all the elements align themselves accordingly so now without any further ado let's create this UI okay so here I have this uh, index.html file so index.html file then I have one folder where I've put all these uh, three images that is for HTML, CSS and JavaScript that I'm going to use in uh, those cards and then after one CSS folder for style.css file okay so the first one index.html file so here the basic boilerplates the main one thing is this one so this viewport meta tag is important if you make any responsive UI so this is the most important tag then after i have linked the style.css file so then after in the body tag the first thing is header so the header is this one so we have one uh, heading here for uh, the website so you can also have one image here and then after i have these two buttons so first one as you can see one heading and then one unordered list for these two buttons and i've set the class for them as well which we are going to use in the css file for giving them some style then after i have the section so that is this part this one as well as these three cards so in this uh, there is one main division that consists this part so in this main division we have the h1 then the paragraph and then one anchor link so that is these three things so this is uh, the main division and then after i have one another division that is the card section so this one is the card section and it contains these three cards so these are the three different cards that i have created in this card section so in the first uh, card we have this uh, card content and we have this uh, class written in all the other cards as well but the thing that the other cards have different that is this one this class that is the html class for this html card the css class for the css card and the js class for this javascript card then after we have all the uh, three different images uh, defined for these three different cards uh, so this card content contains two different divisions for the front side and other for the back side so in the front side we have this image for all the three cards and in the back side we have this text written uh, that is one heading and one paragraph so this thing is similar on all these uh, three cards and then at the end we have this footer and which contains this one 
paragraph so this is pretty much it for the index.html file now let's go on to the uh, styling part so the style.css so first of all let's start with uh, some of these tags that uh, we want to be applied globally so uh, i haven't used any classes here so first of all this is uh, the border sizing is set to border box then i've set uh, the defaults for paragraph tag then anchor link then h1 and then for the body so i've set this main uh, things that are required and that are going to be applied for uh, all the elements that are in the body then after i have the header so in the header i have used flexbox to uh, justify the elements and i have used uh, margin and padding and the border and uh, the box shadow so the box shadow is uh, very much required because as you saw when we hovered the, the cursor of the mouse onto those elements then the shadow changed so that was because of this and we have set the hover property for that here so that when we hover the cursor then the box shadow is changed and uh, the transition is set for the same and then after we have written the css this part the css this whole part is for uh, the buttons in the header so let me show you so it is for these two buttons so in the ul tag for that we have set the css and then after for the li that means the uh, list items and then after for the individual anchor links i have written the css and then after i have written the hover property for those as well so the outcome for this is this one and then after i have section so for these middle section i have set the css for that and i have used flexbox here as well so if you don't know what flexbox is or how to use flexbox so i have one video for that as well so you can go through that video and you will get to know about how you can use flexbox and how you can create responsive uis so for creating responsive uis flexbox is really really helpful so you need to know flexbox so then after i have uh, the css written for the main section so this whole css is for uh, the main section this whole part is for the main section so first of all i have set main things that is the width and height then the text alignment and uh, the padding borders background colors and the box shadow and all of those things i have set here then after i have set uh, the hover property for the box shadow and then i have set all the individual things that is the h1 tag the paragraph and uh, of anchor link so i have set those separately and then the outcome for that as you can see this is that one and then after i have moved on to these cards so for the card i have set this all the properties for the flex box so i have set the display flex and the justify content and the flex wrap and then after i have uh, gone into the inner uh, division that is this one so this is for every single different card so here so i have set the width height the perspective and margin for card so it is going to be applied on all the other cards so uh, if you create one another card let me just show you so i have pasted created one more card and as you can see it is going to create one more card with the same css properties so this is how you can create uh, any number of cards that you want and it is just going to add them uh, in your ui now here uh, in the card content section the card content part is let me show you 
this one so in this part uh, we have these two things that is one uh, front side division and one back side division so first of all i've set the width height and the content alignment uh, the text alignment and the transition and uh, the transform style as well so that uh, i can get a 3d effect of flipping the card and then after i have set the transform to rotate y axis 180 degrees so that it flips 180 degrees through y axis and then after i have set the css for the front side and back side so the uh, css for uh, this is going to be applied for both the front side and the back side so the position and width and height uh, is also set and uh, the back face visibility is set to hidden then after uh, here i have set the css for the front side and individually i have set the background colors for all the different front sides of three different cards that i have taken and then here i have set the back side that is common for all the three cards so that i have set here and then i have set the width and height of the image and lastly there is the footer and the hover part of the footer as well so the output for this is this one you'll get a card flip so that is that and now the next is the responsive part so we have to write some media queries so that the ui is responsive so that is this one so i have set two different widths so first one is for 1000 pixels and the second one is for 800 pixels and for 1000 pixels i have applied the margins for header section and the footer and then for the 800 pixel window size i have set the headers so i have changed the margin and the paddings here and then the text alignments as well so that i get everything in the center here it is not in the center but if i get it down i get everything in the center so it is because of this one then i've set the ul tags padding to zero and then i've set the font size for uh, the main section that is this one i've reduced the font size here and then i've set the font size for uh, the h1 and the paragraph here uh, differently so that i can get those sizes different and then after i've set the footer size as 18 pixels that is this one if i get this bigger the footer paragraph tags font size gets bigger if i get it small then it is reduced so this is how you can do that so i guess uh, that's it for this one and you'll get the code for this on my github account and i'll give the link for that in the description down below so you can download the code from there and so that's it for this one so if you like this video then click on the thumbs up button and if you want to see more of these videos then do subscribe to this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button down below and so that's it for this video and i will see you in the next one